Okay, Beshem Hashem Nasev and Nasiyah, we have another Limuda Torah in downtown Los Angeles, Vernon. Thank you so much for the host. Um, we're going to learn about Parashat Itro and uh, the importance of Shemirat uh, Enaim, uh, watching our eyes, especially during these weeks of Shovavim. So, our Chachamim teach us that Bizchut Nashim Satkaniot. In the zechut of the righteous ladies, we were saved from Exodus, from uh, Egypt, Mizraim. How so? Our Chachamim teach us that the Egyptians, they had a very destructive method that they overworked Jews by giving them the job that didn't belong to them. So men didn't want to have, didn't want to be with their wives. They were so tired. And what, what the Jewish wives did, they beautified themselves. And they make sure that they are uh, with Kedusha Tahara. And this way, they were able to, to be together and have children. So our Chachamim teach us, the Zechut of Sheminat Enaim and Zechut of watching our eyes is so important. That because of that, the the nature changed its its nature, which means when Ben Israel were at the Red Sea, Yam Suf, and they wanted to cross it, it didn't open. Until Nachshon ben Aminadav, he went into the sea, and until the the as, Asmot Shel Yosef, the bones of Yosef Asadik, came by the seashore. So what happened? The seashore complained, says the Midrash, that I'm supposed to be flat. I'm not supposed to open. Right? This is my nature. Then Hashem told him, no, but you need to open because of the zikhut of Yosef Asadik. Yosef Asadik went against his nature when he was about to do the Avera uh, with Eshet Potiphar Azulecha. And because of, the, of him, you need to open. And Achachamim teaches us, there was another zikhut of because of Nashim Satkaniyot that the whole exodus happened. So when this comes to, to picture, we understand how important it is for a man, for a man to watch his eyes. How much so that it says in today's Musar in Chok de Israel, Parashat Israel's Yom Shedishi, a man that look has uh, that would look at ladies to enjoy from them. This is a big avera. This is a avera. This is a scene with with body. As the as the pasuk says, velo taturu achare levavchem vachare enechem. That's the pasuk in Shema. Do not go after your uh, after your uh, heart and after your eyes. Why? Because the da- heart desires and the eye looks. Right? Because they are the zonim. They are the strangers to you. And then he would have avera. What will happen? He would come back as a gilgul. Recarnation. Right? Says what gilgul they call it in, uh, in, in Farsi, Lashkhor. Lashkhor is this big bird. I don't know what they call it in English. Right? I forgot. It's like eagle, but it's not eagle. And what this animal, what this bird does, it's a um, vulture. Vulture? Vulture. Vulture, vulture, sorry. What this bird does, this bird flies high above and looks for dead bodies of the animals. And that's how the, uh, the bird finds its, its food. So such a person would come back as a recognition in this, uh, in this bird. Why is that? Because just like he misused his koach of reya of seeing, now he needs to come back as a, this bird that is going to feed f- from seeing that could have been used in much better f- way. 
וזהו שאמר ולא תתורו אחרי לבבכם ואחרי עיניכם כי בעוון זה אתם זונים בקלקול בראייה That's why the Pasuk says do not go after your heart and your eyes because this would cause a person to come back as a Gilgul. Right? I'm mistaken that because you looked. I'm mistaken. Benashim, Katab, Gadol, Hamurim, Shenigram, Mal, Ledavar, Achel. So that uh, the, the big rabbis, they write that the person who looks, he makes himself blemished with other things too. As they say, the Neshama that we have, Has a, uh, has a connection in Olamot, in the upper woods, and he would bring destruction to, 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 its, uh, to, to himself in the Olam Hapa. It's called Pegam. Right? So much so that big Gedolim, they don't even look at ladies. And I know uh, for a fact, Harav Eliezer ben David, Harav Shonom, a person that uh, used to come and help him, uh, used to come and help him, With, uh, with, with, uh, uh, with washing dishes and, and cooking food. A wonderful Sanua lady in our community for many years that she told, told uh, others. One time she was walking in the kitchen and the door was open. The, the door of the apartment up there in Orhamid was open. And uh, Rabbi Ben David Allah Shalom was resting. And he, he came to the kitchen Yeah, and he didn't realize that uh, she was walking there. And all of a sudden, she, uh, uh, she, uh, she, she noticed that Rob is, uh, is, 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 is uh, disturbed. And, and, and he asked in Ivrit, right, who are you? Right. Me who is there? Who is, who is this person? Right. So she said, I'm so and so. And then he said, oh, okay, no problem. But what she wondered, she said, for half a second, he looked at me, but he didn't recognize who I was. Even though that I was in this place for more than, who knows, by that time it was maybe more than 15 years, working in, in Orhaimet, he didn't, he didn't know her by face. He did not know her by face. Right? So that's what we see the importance of keeping our Gedusha and Tahara and what the ladies did. What the ladies did was huge. That by making sure that their husbands are contained and that the husband have a Gedusha and Tahara and that they, 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 they keep the Gedusha and Tahara together in the family by making sure that the Ta'ava and the desire of the husband would not go out of the home and would be for the wife only, right? that contributed to, to bringing the Geula, that complete, that, and so too, uh, perhaps the lesson for today. Last night I had a meeting uh, with, with somebody that unfortunately uh, has been in a relation, relationship with a, with a Goya for past seven years, and unfortunately she became pregnant, and they, they, he didn't want it, After the story was told, we understood in the meeting that I had, Arab Chacham Zadashirita was there too. And he guided him a lot. That we understood that this was a whole trap for him. And that now he's trapped. Now there's a child is about to come. And she continues putting him in the trap. Somebody that was already married, right? Divorced. And is 10 years older than this Yehudi. Right. What gets a person to this? Because he made a mistake. He wanted to, uh, you know, he wanted to do good to her. Right. He asked her to come. Okay, you don't have a place to sleep. Come to my apartment. And that was the beginning of a disaster. So the beginnings of the disasters, we always have to stop the beginnings. The very beginning starts with one look. Right. Those, those people who unfortunately go to these events and these mixed dancing or parties that they are, uh, you know, men and women, they are mixed. That's the beginning of destruction and disaster in the families. Right. I heard a story that unfortunately somebody called, somebody called a, a rabbi right, asking, what should I do? I was, uh, I, I was with a man. That I saw him in a in a party, and this was a married woman, 
and unfortunately I was with him once and that from that one time I became pregnant and I don't know what to do how to reveal this to my husband and my husband is thinking that this is my baby but is uh, is his baby but he's not what should I do and she was crying she was crying right so again we need to prevent prevention is better than cure the best prevention is if a person needs to go to a place party you go with your wife you make sure prior to going if this place is a kosher place family relatives they respect they are very much respected but the person should not put himself in that situation a person cannot put himself in a challenge we don't know if we can overcome challenges people say okay we don't we don't do these things uh, okay we we are strong now you never put yourself in such a situation i may have some help us mm-hmm. we're living in a society that they made this in a, in a norm we hear it from uh, you know right and left it, this is not a norm families uh, unfortunately destroy their uh, shalom bait after 20 25 years 30 years because of one one wrong act Okay, may Hashem help us that we come to Kedusha and Bezashem in this Zechut Hashem will redeem us again. Benomar, Amen.